Now, I'm taking an approach this week as I look at my kind of New Year's resolution right. to get healthier, to monitor my uh, my various vitals and, and learn how to become a healthier physical uh, person. And one of the devices that I picked up, I finally gave in, mm-hmm. but on the cheap, and I got myself a fitness tracker. Nice. Okay. Okay. To clarify, fitness tracker, not smartwatch. Correct. I didn't want a smartwatch. Well, what what makes a smartwatch? Well, the difference between a fitness tracker and a smartwatch yes. is your smartwatch will receive notifications from push your notifications. Phone. Yeah, push notifications. This does that. Be, but be able to like potentially do phone calls, read your text messages, respond, stuff like that. This does that. Really? Yeah. So maybe it's a smartwatch. Maybe it's a smartwatch. They don't hmm. call it either. They co- they call it, um, well, they call it what it is: blood pressure monitor. Mm-hmm. activity tracker, heart rate monitor, sleep monitor. Okay, so those right. are the four main functions of this device. Oh. So it is, of course, a watch. And so one of the things, so this Ooh. is $40 at cat5.tv slash tracker. I wanted to get a cheap fitness tracker because you're looking at I'm the dollar just, sons on your fifth one, aren't you? I'm just dying learning, a little inside. <laughs> I'm just learning how I had to shop around. Okay. Um, so I'm just learning kind of how I can monitor my own vitals and, right. and get healthier by motivating myself and challenging myself by knowing the right. numbers. Right. Yeah. So this is just a cheap fitness tracker. Yeah. Obviously. And I didn't want to go all the way to say a Fitbit or right. one of the, the fancier devices, because what if it doesn't work for me? Mm-hmm. I can't justify that. And again, I'm looking at doing this entire process with under $100 spent. Okay? Right. So for 40 bucks, I got this. It is Bluetooth. It's paired to my phone, and it has a, a like an analog-looking um, clock on it, which I like. It's got my heart rate and everything else. I can change my mode. It's going to monitor my sleep patterns. And again, it's going to graph everything so that I can see how am I sleeping? Right. How am I, how's my heart rate? Uh, I noticed when I was having some technical difficulties before the show, I was at 120 BPM. What are you at now? That makes sense. Right now, I'm talking a lot and not breathing a lot. So I'm at 90. Nope. That's not right. 72. Oh, that's you're pretty good. Winning. 72. I'm at 88. <laughs> Am I making you nervous? But this is pretty neat. So, so the goal with this is to be able to track my heart rate and my blood pressure. That's mm-hmm. really it. And the sleep pattern thing is cool. There's another thing that I really, really like about this one, and, and a lot of them will have this, is that it has a vibrating alarm. Yeah. So I can set it on my phone the time that I want my alarm to go off, yeah. mm-hmm. and it will go off on this as a vibrating function. Yeah. So I don't wake up other people in the house. Exactly. See, yours is super fancy. How much did you pay? Uh, this, this 103 is, this BPM. Is, yeah, I, I'm sitting at 103. It's like clearly I'm stressed out. Um, that looks uh, gorgeous, yeah, though. Yeah, I paid 300 bucks for this. This, bucks. this is the new Samsung oh, Active 2. Beautiful. Okay. Mine was and yours like is a Fitbit. Yeah, 130. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so 40. Yeah, so okay. I, but I'm very, very entry level. It's not fancy. It doesn't look beautiful. I feel like beautiful. yours, though, does It looks the like, same a, as like an mine. early model Fitbit to me. Yes. Yeah. And yeah, it looks like it, it has all the features that I would expect from a fitness tracker. And of course, being Bluetooth, it's, it's graphing everything and mm. it's monitoring everything for me so that I can graph it and see those patterns. Right. So again, by seeing patterns, just like this smart scale that I picked up, by seeing those patterns, I'm able to plan out. How can I improve things? Right. Mm-hmm. If I'm only, you know, getting so many hours of sleep, this will tell me that I need an extra hour of sleep each night. Yes. So then I can plan around that. Makes sense. Yeah. Uh, another thing that it does uh, that I really, really love, we looked at Ula long ago, but I've since lost my Ula and, right. and I am really bad for this. I'm always drinking black coffee and always forgetting to drink water. Yes. I try to throughout the day, but this will actually notify me anytime I should be drinking a a sip of water. So it's going to help me to keep hydrated as well, which is going to help me to metabolize and lose weight, Mm -hmm. right? Um, It um, also, I learned a new word uh, to me that perfectly describes me, (laughs) and that is sedentary. Ah, yes, because you sit around. I sit around all day long. Yep. Not not like a lazy boy, but like a, a, That's your job. Yeah, you're at, I'm you're at, at a desk. desk. Yeah. Yes. I'm at my desk for nine, ten hours a day. Yes. My job actually has been, inc- like, it's changed to more a set, 
I can't sedentary. Say sedentary. Uh, I imagine that's how you pronounce it. But right. I think so. Whereas that's I used to hustle easy. and bustle around. Now I'm slowly and methodically helping people, which is mm. far cool. less active. So, so you are I mentioned active. that I yes. learned that word because one of the features of this fitness tracker is a sedentary alarm. Oh. I'm like, what the heck is that? So I searched for it, and it turns out if I've been sitting still for too long, it'll let me know. Oh, that's lovely. So it's just a quick notification. Hey, get up, walk upstairs, go grab yourself another coffee, you know, just get up on your feet for a few minutes. Right. And and that's, again, going to help me to get more physical activity in my day, keep it so that I'm not, like, becoming a vegetable through the day and then eating my dinner and, you know, then just never actually burning anything i guess Mm -hmm. but certainly sounds like a good thing to be standing up every now and again (laughs) yep (laughs) sounds lovely i keep so it's gonna help me with that i suppose this is why now we're back at the standing studio that is part of it yeah yeah yeah. um (laughs) it syncs with it pairs with an ios or android device you're asking about like does it have the smart watch capabilities it does get push notifications i saw uh, i set up twitter um and saw a couple of notifications come in i saw gmail a couple okay. of different apps. The one that I didn't see in the app to be able to um, push to, uh, push to the to the watch is Discord, right. which was kind of disappointing right. because that's really my main communication through like now, online. That's a small screen though to be able yeah. to read emails, okay, or texts. So what I do is I go to um, the text mode. And then I just hold in, long hold, okay. and I can see it like that. And so then I tap for the next screen. And I got uh, a tweet okay. from uh, from Mrs. Marshman. So All that's right. actually showing on my smartwatch. Okay. If, so, oh, yeah. smartwatch, fitness tracker. Yeah, fitness tracker. So you, yeah. you call that a, a smartwatch. You can answer your calls just by tapping your phone. It'll show you the call ID. Does it have ID. a mic on it or does it, no. conne- it connect to your phone? Yes. It, yeah. yeah, it's a controller, but it'll show me the caller ID on my wrist. Right. It'll it'll buzz. So if okay. I'm in a meeting, it'll buzz uh, like vibration, and I can look at it, and it will show me who's calling, and then I can tap it to answer. Right. That and kind you of find thing. battery yeah. life is good? Well, so far, it only arrived today. Okay. No. <laughs> I'm going to give you a hint. I'm going to give you a hint that helps with mine. Yes. Because you want to wear it while you're sleeping, so you can't charge it overnight. Just mm-hmm. charge it when you're in the shower. That's what I do. Yeah, makes sense. That's it. Don't wear it in yeah. the shower. Don't wear they, it in the shower. This is waterproof, they call right. it, but they say... Don't submerge it in hot water. Like, it's fine if you're in the rain or getting your hands yeah. wet or if you're in the bath and not submerging it. It is waterproof to a certain depth, but you're not supposed to dive with it and mm. that kind of stuff. So I would just keep it out of the water for the most part. Yep. And there's no charger for it. It just You just un, unhook the case or the strap and it plugs directly into a USB port. Wonderful. So there's no, like, port or anything to charge it. Cool. Um, any other facts about this? I mean, that's really it. Um, I did find, though, if you do purchase this same one at cat5.tv slash tracker, um, the instruction set has you scan a QR code to get the app. And when you do that, it downloads an APK for a Chinese version of the app. Oh. So, so I'm like, okay. what the How am I supposed to do this? And I couldn't find out how to change the language. But it is in the Play Store. So forget about the instruction manual. Uh, just grab the app called Hero Band 2, and it's spelled Hero Band 1, 1, or II, uh, all one word, no spaces in that, and that's in Google Play. I'm using Android. I assume it's going to be the same app name in uh, So will that sync iOS. to a health app, like a Google Fit or anything? Yeah, it has its own app. Okay. And so this is where, because I, I wanted to ask you guys the question, why is it worth 300 bucks? Other than it's gorgeous. Like mine yeah. looks like a cheap watch. It, well, but, I, yeah. but, but I wanted to ask that question, but one, one answer already came to me. Yes. In that the app for this yep. will use data from that. Correct. The app from this will not use data from this. Correct. So the cheap watch doesn't pair doesn't synchronize data between yep. various devices and i can tell you on my mm-hmm. the the one the one thing that would keep me from buying that watch is the yes. fact that you can't really um connect with community because i need mm. motivation of competition <laughs> you can create um teams and things like that add but friends it would be people only with that watch yeah, perhaps. Yeah. yeah. Right. So, so Fitbit is a bigger community. Thing. Yeah. So if you're looking to be competitive, you know, how many steps did you get? You know, that right, kind now of thing. We're, now I'm just going to have to trust you. I can't automatically right. see. I see. So, yeah. so like when you look at mine, like it has. The, I can see it. This is gorgeous. Guys. Like it has a, a bezel around the, like mm-hmm. it's a it touch looks, bezel so yep. I can 
move with my finger. So it's little oh, features wow. like that. Yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah. it's obviously a bigger screen. It Super does have fancy. apps. Yeah. Like I can go through my contact list. I can add specific. Can I, can I, I'm going to use my phone here. to show those at home what it is that you're actually showing me here. It's sure. very lovely. Yeah. So let me just turn. So you're not getting the, uh, there we go. There you go. So like, you know, that'll give me some of my health stats. Uh, rotate through there's different apps yeah uh, i can add certain activities yeah on the fly beat per minute checks the weather yeah so like cool, there's so man. much more different uh, i can set specific alarms uh so for 300 bucks you've got that is a yeah, true like smart is watch sure. oh, music boy. through yeah. here i can do phone calls through here okay yeah so yeah there's much a lot more sophisticated more for sure uh, that's the real and deal. even like with the sleep you can see here yeah like it'll tell you how long you're asleep, how mm. the quality, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. I could set night mode, different cool. things. I could do phone calls from this, yeah, so that I don't actually have to pick up oh, my phone. Okay, you talk into your watch yeah, like Maxwell Smart. Yeah, exactly. Nice. So it's you know you could do a lot more with this. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. So mine, by contrast, um, and I do want to show you the screen so that you can see that it, it's kind of oh, nice. Color. Yeah, it is color. Mine is not. Yeah. You want to hold the phone? Sure. Do you mind? Sure. Thank you, sir. So when I'm talking about this, I'm just, there, we go. there you go. So I've got my steps, calories, calories, how many miles I've walked beats per minute right now. So yeah, the screen's not bad. Different modes. You got different themes that you can use. So if I hold long press and I can change the theme. Oh, okay. Right. So it's pretty basic, but I like that. Yep, it that works. looks cool. Yeah. So, but it does the tracking. It's yeah. got sensors on the back that are going to help me to be able to track those things. Right. Now, I will say the one thing that will set my watch apart from yours, mm. EKG. Be like the yep. actual beats, like your e heartbeat, echocardiograph. Is being, yeah. Which for me, as somebody who has angina, it's a big deal because whenever I have those like fake heart attack symptoms mm. you can't track that like if you have a heart if you have a heart attack there's markers that show up after the fact angina doesn't and okay. so what i like about this is with the ekg sensor that's something that will pop right. up on the fly so it's like yep you're having one of those it's like oh, okay now okay. totally makes sense so mine has something called a ppk a ppg, PPG. what's that no clue an ECG measures the electrical activity of the heart using multiple electrical sensors. By contrast, a PPG is an optical measurement of arterial volume which uses a single light-based sensor. Okay. Huh. So it shows my beats in a bar graph, or uh, yes. in a graph. But yeah, it's not like beat, 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 right. beat. It's nothing like that. It's showing, it's like a graph of how many beats per minute when it logs it every five seconds, it looks like. Okay. So cool. Yeah, a little bit. Yours is obviously more sophisticated and you pay for it. Well, exactly. That's yeah. why it was 300 bucks. Yeah. Boxing day deal. versus. Oh, it was a steal. Yeah. Wow. Nice. Mine was a steal. It was 40 bucks. <laughs> <laughs>